Do not try this at any computer. What happens when you interrupt a Windows upgrade? So, let's start with Windows 7. Let me just um, get the Windows 10 set up on this. Okay, so we got the ISO image. Let me just turn off the drag and drop. And we're gonna do the setup. Um, okay, so we can now do that. Let me just get another one. Okay, so we have it. Let me just run it. Yes, I want to. So... So, yeah, we cannot, it's literally not letting me do the setup. Let me just get another other one. Okay, so now we have the folder. I'm gonna just open it and click setup. So I couldn't get the installation to work there because it says every time you won't have enough space, even though I extended the disk size, but then I found out. I forgot to explain the storage in disk management. So then it worked. And, um... Wait, I feel like this is a pretty good time to destroy this thing. So, let me just, um... Uh, and we're gonna reset. Loading files. Windows 10? Wait, it's... Showing the Windows 10 boot. I'm doing changes made to your computer. Oh, I know what this is like. It's literally just... We put you back to Windows 7. I know that time lapse. Just kidding. We're not gonna do that. But what about Windows XP? So now we're gonna put the Vista ISO. So, okay, so now we have Vista. So we're gonna click install now. It, and it should start. So, time lapse. So I had a problem, but I just solved it. I feel like this is a pretty good time for the reset the machine and click reset and see what will happen. It just boots back into Windows XP. Just boot back. Yeah. Why did it glitch like that? It weirdly glitched. Nothing happens. But anyways, what about Windows 2000? So we're gonna upgrade to Windows XP and then we're gonna stop the upgrade in the middle of it. So let me just um, put the XP ISO. So, okay, so now we have the setup. Let me just click install Windows XP. And we're just gonna do the setup, so time lapse. Okay, I feel like it's a pretty good time to do the reset, so let's just reset and see what will happen. But it's still so like Windows XP. It's dual booted, so what happens if you click XP? It will just reboot to the XP setup. But if we click 2000, what will happen? Let me just check. Okay, it has been doing nothing for now. I don't know why, it's completely blank for some reason. So I feel like it was literally trying to delete the Windows 2000 while doing the XP setup. That's why it's probably all blank. So, what about Windows 95? As you can see, again, we don't have any graphics drivers. So we're gonna work like this. So, um, we'll just, um, put the Windows 2000 ISO image this time. Okay, so now we have, um, the setup. Let me just put the product key and everything. So, time lapse. Okay, I feel like this is the time to, um, 
um, reset. If you see a black screen, it's just because I'm control of deleting. But let's reset. I'm not gonna click. Just saying. Starting Windows. It's still on Windows 2000. We literally like there's no there's no Windows 95 anywhere. Let's just um check what we have. Okay, um none of these are Windows 95. Like there's not like like use um which operating system like so it just restarts the setup if you reset in the middle of it but anyways thank you guys for watching today's video make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one